Hello friends, welcome back to the art room with Mr. Rick. Today we're going to be doing a very different kind of art project from what we usually do. In fact, I don't believe I've ever taught this until this year. We're going to be doing an origami art lesson. Origami is a form of art that started in Japan about 200 years ago. And the word origami comes from two Japanese words that are uh, folding and paper. And that's exactly what origami is. It's just folded paper and it's folded in a way that creates some kind of sculpture, usually some kind of an animal. So let's get right to making our origami. To make origami artwork, you will need some paper. You can buy origami paper, but I have found that regular plain old printer paper works just fine. Now every project that I have ever done with origami starts with a square piece of paper. And if you're working with printer paper, the first thing you got to do is turn it into a square. So this is how I would do that if you are one of my uh, artists at home. Um, this is how you take a piece of printer paper and turn it into a square. So first you take one corner and you're going to fold it until the side lines up perfectly. Like that. And then you just press all along that diagonal line. Then you take your scissors and you see this line right here? I'm going to cut that out. Alright, after you've cut off that extra piece, then you unfold it and you have a an almost perfectly square piece of paper which will be perfect for our project. So let's get on with our project. Alright, so I've traded my white paper in for a green paper because we are going to be making an origami frog that really jumps pretty cool. So to get started, you're going to take your green square or whatever color paper you have, you're going to fold it straight across and meet up the two uh, corners like this and push down the diagonal side like that. And you're going to unfold it again. And you're going to fold the other one. You're going to fold the other side this time. Meet it up just like you did the first time. And then unfold it. So you should have like an, an X shape. So go ahead and do that now. Alright, when you're ready, you're going to take this and you're going to kind of pull the sides in so that they curve in like this, like this, and then you're going to press it down into a triangle shape, and then press all your sides down so it stays nice and folded. Alright, so that's step two, so go ahead and do that. Look like that when you're done with this step. Alright, moving on to step three. So first we're going to make the frog's little front legs. So to do that, I'm going to take one corner. See how there's, there's two flaps here? I'm going to take the top flap. I'm going to fold it over. I'm going to press. I'm going to fold it over again. This time, this line should line up almost perfectly in the middle of the triangle. I'm going to press. So that's going to be one front leg. You'll see. You'll understand in a minute. So then, I'm going to do the same thing on this side. I'm going to fold it up, press, and fold it again until it's close to the middle, and press. It's okay if the front legs don't perfectly line up. See, mine don't, and that's okay so go ahead and finish with that part take all the time you need and when you're ready we will do the other side so then you flip the whole thing over now we're going to work on his back and his big long jumping legs so on this one you're going to take your other big flap you're going to fold it in almost to the middle and you want you want this this line right here to be almost, uh, well, it's going to be straight up and down. 
but not quite to the middle. You want to leave some space in the middle. So fold it and then press it so it looks like that. You should have a long triangle that comes off the bottom of the triangle. And do the same thing on this side. Try to make it about the same size. All right, almost done already. So after you're done with this step, you're gonna take this uh, new flap you've made, fold it in just a little bit. You see what I did there? So you're folding it back in on itself. Do the same thing on both sides. And when you're done with that step, there's one thing left to do. I'm going to turn your frog over. You can see his front legs. See, it doesn't look like the bottom of a frog. It's pretty cool. So you're going to take it. You're going to put your fingers kind of right where his little frog armpits would be. And you're going to bend the whole bottom half of the frog over and press. And you're going to grab his legs about halfway uh, between where you bent and the bottom of the frog. And you're going to fold it back on itself so that it meets up. So the bottom of the frog meets up with your fold right here. So you're going to kind of make it like Z-shaped. See that? See that's kind of Z-shaped? And once you've done that, you're done with your origami frog. And to make him jump, you put your hand on his back, you press it down, and let go. How cool is that? Now, if you made some mistakes along the way, just get another piece of paper and try again. Um, I've had a lot of practice making this frog, so um, I may have made it look easy, but it's pretty challenging at first. So if you're having a tough time, go easy on yourself, take your time, get another piece of paper if you need to, and just be patient with yourself, and it will pay off when you have your own jumping frog. Here's my origami jumping frog. He's ready to hop home for the weekend. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy origami. Um, if you really like this, some kids really love origami. And if you're one of those people, uh, go ahead and uh, search around on the internet. There's some really great uh, tutorials of different origami uh, projects that you can do. YouTube is a great resource. Uh, Pinterest is a good resource. And uh, if, if, you, if this was a little too easy for you, then I challenge you to uh, find the uh, crane. The crane is like the traditional origami project. So if this frog was too easy for you, then go find that crane and uh, have fun with that. All right. Thank you for journeying with me to uh, art, artistically to the land of Japan to make some origami. And I will see you guys next time in the art room.